Alright guys, in this video we've got to repair some RC cars. So we've got to fix the X-Max, we've got to fix the Rustler, and over there I've got my TRX4 that needs a motor replacing, and my Slash 4 before that needs a new front diff housing. I've just had a few bits turn up, because so we've got a new radio, and the idea of this is so I can do rear wheel steering on my Wheelie King. A new motor for the TRX4, diff cases for the Slash, ah actually... UDR's got broken chassis, so these are going to have to go on at some point. I don't think it'll be this video. And a few other bits and bobs. So this one should be a relatively easy fix. It's got a broken shock tower, and you'll see that in a minute. So, I've got an RPM one here, and hopefully... This one's not going to break. That's the part number there in case anybody's interested. So, that's all fixed again. As you can see here, look guys. That's where it broke. So the body shell seen better day. This is a Proline Bulldog body. I really do like the shape of this. I did stop making it, but I've got a load more upstairs, but I kept just the spares. Once I heard that these things went out of production, I bought all the last ones left. So I've got about 16 of these things stashed upstairs. Only issue I've seen so far is that the body shell clips that I use, they don't fit through the hole here on the RPM mount. So I'm just, I've got a drill bit here, and this drill bit here is the same size as the front mounts. So if I just run that through there. Perfect. Let's move over to the X-Max. So this body shell on here, I wasn't actually planning on running it. So I don't know if you saw that last video, but the plan was just to bring it up there and just use it to get a few thumbnail pictures because I've noticed that if I've got a nice body shell on there, my videos get more views, so I kind of thought, well, I put this on here as a thumbnail body, and then I put the old Russian indestructible body in for when I'm actually running it. But I got a little bit carried away, and yeah, it's quite beaten up already. All the screw holes are pulled through, like all of them, apart from the back two. Damage wise on the car, uh, front bumper was already broken, so I can't really include that. One of the front shocks, this one here, it's gone sticky. It's gone stiff and it's sort of staying wedged down. And not only that, it's leaked all the oil out of there. So I'm gonna have to take that apart and have a little look what's going on in there. Um, looking around the back, the diff case is smashed and you can see the diff in there, look. So I've got to take this apart, take the diff out, give it a clean out, put a new cap on there, and it should be good to go. So really, I've, all I've got to do is bumper, shock, and diff cover. All right, let's start off with this diff cover. By the way, I'm using the hand tool here because these screw heads here, there's not much meat left, and I don't really want to risk stripping off the hex. I have a little bit of a better look in here now. So luckily, this diff hasn't actually been skipping. So all I've got to do is change the cover. Well, I hope that's all I've got to do anyway. Actually looking at this, it's lucky that this diff didn't start stripping actually, because if you look at this, it's actually broken off the bottom two lugs and the centre one. So how this hasn't been skipping around in there, God only knows. So I just gotta get all that dirt out of there, it's all full of grass and stuff. All right, so I've got to give all that a nice little clean up, guys. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm not going to bore you with the whole process, but it's going to take me a good 10 minutes to get that nice and clean, and then I'll put you back on. All right, so it's all nice and clean in there now. All I've got to do now is re-grease it. People always say, what grease do I use? And to be honest, you can just use any general purpose automotive grease, like bearing grease. This stuff's got PTFE in there, but it really doesn't have to. You know, any sort of general purpose grease will do. Get a nice dollop of that round there. Brand new diff cover. Ah, damn it, I forgot to put the shafts back in. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly take these pins out here, put the shafts back in, and then I'll put you back on. All right, so I've got my shafts back in now. So all I've got to do now is put the skid plate bumper back on, and then we'll move over to the front end.
All right, front end time. So let's get this bumper off first. Right, so what I like to do with this part here, this is actually quite a common place for the screws to strip out of. So I like putting in longer screws. So I find the drill bit that fits in the existing hole. And just drill through. So now we can go ahead and put in longer screws. And even if that screw does pull out, we could even put a nut and a bolt through there eventually. All right, so next, let's have a look what's going on with this shock. Well, I don't know what's going on here because this feels smooth. It feels perfect. I really don't know why it was jamming up. But it's definitely leaked a little bit of oil out of there. So we definitely got to open it up and have a look what's going on. Ah, look at that, loose piston. Is it a loose piston or a broken piston? I don't even, yeah, piston's done. That's why, guys, look. That is why. Uh, it did leak a tiny bit, but I don't know if that's because this was all jamming up, it was making it leak. So I think what I'm gonna do is put on a new piston and then just run with it and see how it goes. All right, so I've got a new piston here and now I can actually see why I broke it. When you look here, look, guys, I'll put the washer on the same side as the nut. Well, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to put the washer on this side. So when you imagine, when you're dumping this thing really hard, bang, all that force, ramming that piston down onto that shaft. It's just, that's probably how it's knackered it. Mm. So I'm going to have to empty that whole shock out because all of this stuff here is going to be inside the shock. So how it's supposed to go is washer, piston, and then nut. Yep, uh, there goes the bits of plastic. Look, guys, can you see it? All right, so I'll put this 300 CST oil in there. Probably not enough there. All right, brand new one. So I'll normally just fill it up just until we get to where the threaded part of the body is. Now, really, when you, when you do these, you're supposed to do it from this end, but it's a lot easier just to do it from this end, and I've never had any problems doing it this way. And we're only bashing, we're not racing, so it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect, perfect. And that does feel perfect. A spring, seat cup, screw. And we can put it back on. All right, so that's the X-Max all put back together again, ready for another day's bashing. So next, let's have a little look at the slash. So I've already stripped this down, guys, and there, that is in another video. I'm gonna put a link to that up in the top here somewhere. So if you wanna see that, you can check back. But pretty much, all I've pretty much done is just took the diff cover off, saw that it was broken, and then had to order a new one. And here's the part. So this diff has been skipping around in here. So I'm kind of thinking that it's gonna need more than just a diff case. It's probably gonna need this gear as well. Otherwise it's gonna give us more problems down the line. So I might as well swap it out just for the sake of staying reliable. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks like we could run with it again. So I don't know guys actually, it looks pretty perfect. I mean, uh, I don't know, what do you reckon? I mean, it's only four screws. I'm, I'm gonna change it anyway, guys. It's only four screws, so why not change it? I remember on the X-Max it didn't look too bad. And I left it and then it didn't work. Here's a nice shiny new one. So gasket. And I'm gonna top it up a little bit. It looks like there's, it could do with a little bit more in there. Go too mad. There's no O-ring there. Nope, O-ring's attached here. Yep, cool. Bearings are still relatively free. I would give these bearings a service normally. I'd normally ping these shields off, make sure they're all perfectly clean, but this car's due a rebuild anyway. I'm gonna put new bearings in everything soon anyway, so I'm not really going to bother. 
Now next, I've got to get this bit out of here. By the looks of it, all I've got to do is take the wheel off. I don't really want to take the whole front end off if I can get away with it. Pull that pin out. Hey, there we go. I'll tell you what, condition wise, it doesn't even look bad. I mean, I reckon it would have probably gone again. But I've got the new parts, so as I said, I might as well put them on. All right, so next, that is a complete mess in there. It's full of sand, it's full of dirt. So I'm gonna clean all this lot out and then I'm gonna put you back on. All right, so it's all nice and clean in there now. Now I've got to try and put this back in and locate the cup on the other side. And this is gonna be really fiddly, guys, so I'm probably gonna turn you off. All right, basically, guys, I'm gonna switch you off. Basically, what I've got to do, look, I've got to push this gear back in there. And at the same time, I've got to get in there and push that cup back on. And it's too much to try and get it on camera. So once that's back on, I'll put you back on. All right, got it all back in. It was easy, but it was just too hard to try and get my fingers in there and have a camera in the way. So now I'm going to re-grease up the diff. Got to make sure that you put the diff in the right way. If you put it in the wrong way, the car's going to go to drive backwards instead of forwards. Right, what's going on here? If I just put it in the wrong way, I've just said all that and put it in the wrong way. What's going on? See that way? Forward, back, that's it. See, I ne nearly put the different the wrong way around there, guys. Luckily on this car, it's got different size bearings both sides. So that's the way I noticed, otherwise I would have put it all back together. Right, new diff cap. One thing that I did miss out, these shafts, I should have popped these back on before I put the bumper back on, but not to worry, I'll still get in there. Bit more fiddly, but still get assable. And there we have it, one healthy slash. So I think I'm gonna do this in a separate video, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna fully rebuild it yet, but I do wanna sort out the servos. I do wanna sort out the receiver. I do wanna sort out all the diff locks, but I'm not gonna fully rebuild it just yet because I still wanna do some water crossings with it and stuff like that. But I've got to replace the shock shaft. I've got this brand new motor here to put into it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just get this thing up and running. So that's gonna be in a separate video. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you check out my RC basher school that I made. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. So all right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. See you soon, bye.